Kevin and I have worked on a bunch of projects together. Uh, we share a kindred spirit in that we're both avid storytellers. And Kevin's really interested in authenticity, finding something that's real and being able to create traditions and celebrate why we're here. And what's interesting about that is that Kevin's Sagamore Development Group partnered with Pendry. And the Pendry brand is an offshoot of the Montage Resorts. And one of the things that's interesting about Pendry is Pendry's uh, focus is to go into cities and create hotel experiences for them that are authentic to its location. Pendry is interested in engaging in the city. So if I am traveling, if I'm a traveler and I'm interested in engaging, I'm going to go to a Pendry so that I can experience Baltimore or I can experience San Diego or wherever else they're building. That concept and Kevin Plank's interest in storytelling and, and um, authenticity aligned. So the first thing that we did was understand what the story underneath the, this project was about. And um, one of the strongest stories here is our relationship physically to Fort McHenry uh, and, and the Battle of 1812 where the British bombardment of Fort McHenry was where the Star Spangled Banner was written. So we have incredible intrinsic stories to this hotel. And the idea was to find ways to tell that story through exploration. That's one of the stories, that's a strong one. So the first thing you see when you walk in the door is the Star Spangled Banner, all the, the lyrics to it, uh, laser cut in steel. Uh, that's your first expression of, of the hotel or greeting of the hotel. But there are other things. Baltimore, when you dig deep into Baltimore, you understand that it is a city of gritty industry and that has also become very wealthy because of that industry. So we wanted to actually engage that. And so if you look throughout the hotel, we've exposed steel beams with rivets. We've actually added steel with rivets. But then we, we posit that right next to some beautiful you know, leather sofa that's supple and luxurious. So if you couple those two things and you put them side by side, to me that's Baltimore. It is the charm of having something that's real and industrial and um, made by men, right next to something that is luxurious and engaging and charming. And that was the goal for the hotel, engage that spirit.